What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, today I really want to talk about our brother, Future, all right? And, you know, like I said, a lot of these chicks, you know, um, IG models are, they don't want to work. They don't. That's why the girls are getting pregnant by Nick Cannon. And again, guys, uh, Brother SPK showed me a link where he's going to spend $3 million on child support by having all these kids, right? Future is on his way. But the difference between Future and Nick and, and some of these other guys out here is Future keeps having these babies with these IG models. But somehow he pays very little money for child support. And he did this with this IG model by the name of Brittany Mealy. Now, I want to play this clip because she's accused him of doing some interesting things in the past. So let's play that first. Brittany Mealy just called out Future. She claims that he texted their eight-year-old son that their mom is a Girl, I'm shook. That's fucked up. Future responded to these accusations with a tweet that says, pray for her. Girl, this man is a fucking man. So guys, you heard that. So basically, she said that he called her a hoe to his son. So she's already a clout chaser. But how is child support calculated, right? This is important for a lot of men because this lady is now saying that she wants more money from child support from Future. Future has been giving her $3,000 a month since, I believe, 2014, something like that. She now wants more money. But I was on TikTok and I found this, uh, this lovely attorney from the Houston, Texas area who will help us uh, explain how child support is calculated, um, at least in the state of Texas. It could be different in Georgia, but let's find out. I'm a Texas attorney, so anything that I discuss on this TikTok only applies to Texas. So today we're going to talk about what income is used to calculate your monthly child support obligation. And to answer that question, it is all of your income. So if you make an hourly rate, it's your hourly checks that you receive. It's your salary if you're on a salary, your bonuses, your overtime pay, your holiday pay. All of that is considered when calculating child support. OK, so if you let, let's say if you have a regular job, let's say you have like a side job that you do when you go home, like an online business or maybe you cut hair as a barber on the weekend or do hair, braid hair at night when you get home your regular job and your side job is considered when the court calculates how much you're supposed to pay your children or your child for child support. But on the flip side, Texas says that we're going to cap your monthly amount that we consider at $9,200 a month on net. Okay. So if you bring home $11,000 as your net income, Texas is only going to consider that first $9,200, and this is per month, okay? So if you make $11,000 per month, Texas is only going to consider the first $9,200, okay? So remember, all income that you receive is considered when calculating your child support. However, Texas caps it at $9,200 net per month when considering your child support amount. So if you have more specific questions on how much your child support should be, give me a call and let me fix it. So brothers, we heard what she's had to say. Here's what I want to say, okay? IG models are the ones being bamboozled here. Let me tell you why they're being bamboozled, brothers. Number one, these rappers, and you've even seen it with... Uh, Jamal Harrison Bryant. These guys know how to hide their assets. What does that mean? It's the typical way of doing business, right? You can say, my company is worth $100 million. I'm only making $50,000 a year. This is the perfect setup, all right? And all of your assets are tied up in a corporation. See, NBA athletes are not moving in that way uh, 
like some of these other guys are. And you're seeing more dudes going that sort of way, too, to be honest. You know, instead of getting hit with, like, 50 grand a month for child support, you're seeing a lot of these guys doing that. They're earning money, paying themselves a part of the corporation. And and, and so, yeah, they're going there. They have no problem of having all these kids. Why? Because the, the child support you're going to get it's three thousand, four thousand dollars a month. Now you're upset and you're saying that you want more money, but the situation is you didn't want the man. All you wanted was a kid, and now you're financially struggling with a rich guy's baby, and you didn't take and use any of the clout to, you know, get further in life. Now you're upset, and this is what you're gonna see. A lot more women are gonna come across guys who are looking at ways. To beat the child support system. All right? Guys are gonna beat it. Guys are gonna not have kids at all, or they're gonna beat it. And in the case in which they're going to beat it, women are gonna be looking pretty, pretty upset. All right? Because what it's gonna do is gonna stop IG models from dealing with women from men they feel that are rich who will not give them access. Then you're gonna cry and call the guy a deadbeat. Well, here's what you could have did. Why didn't you marry the guy who wanted to be with you? And, and a lot of these ladies have opportunities. A lot of these women are above average looking, all right? And what they feel is they're going to get a baby by future. They're going to get a podcast. They're going to get a deal like Kim Kardashian or get a deal like Amber Rose. And they keep forgetting that in entertainment as an industry, you still got to work. There is a lot of work tied up in industries in the business and these women don't want to work every day you, you just can't just post pictures on instagram and how big your butt is and all of that and think it's gonna work this is a real business so when you find out that you're not a business person you don't understand how to do business and you're you're struggling now all of a sudden you know you're upset you want the child support to be risen but i want to also play this clip of this lady making a great point about how women misuse child support money. How the fuck is it that men can have their wages garnished, lose their license, and even go to jail for not paying child support, and yet there is zero accountability from the women to show proof that that money is actually being spent on the children? All right, so you've seen that, right? It's an excellent case. You know, men can go to jail for child support, but women can spend the money however they want, right? So men are looking at supporting just the woman and you want to be able to live off that man's earnings and you didn't do anything to get it. It's the truth. You can be mad if you want, but it needs to force women. The number one of these guys in the industry, they don't care about you. Nick Cannon doesn't care about you. All right. He doesn't. Future doesn't care about you. You're better off building a life with a man who is interested in you, who loves you, and wants to build a family with you versus being scarred, getting a baby by a man who won't be there, and then wanting somebody else to come in and clean up that situation, which will not happen, by the way. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.